Hello, Sagittarius, getting ready to do your reading. All right, I'm looking forward to this because energy again has changed and I feel like things are becoming unstuck. I know some of you have heard that before, but let's see what shows up for you guys. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for the end of the month. I know a lot of you like time frames. So this, this, this set is for the end of September. Okay. Nine of Cups, wish fulfilled. Six of Cups, it's in reverse. Three of Swords, there is some sadness, letting go. But that may not be your sadness because you have the wish fulfilled, Nine of Cups, happiness card. Nine of Coins, judgment, and two of Coins. So what are you juggling? Who else? This could be somebody else. This could be somebody in your energy. We have the chariot under the deck. Could be someone visiting you, visiting you right now. I have to go a little bit slower. I'm losing my speech. The words are not coming out right. All right, so Nine of Cups for Sagittarius. Three of Coins. Yeah, Nine of Cups. So they're telling me a lot of times when it's Six of Cups in reverse, it's saying it's not somebody from the past. You could have a Virgo or someone who has been quiet, though, or not communicating who is sad, or this could be the same person. This person could be sad who's coming in to see you. And when I say sad, they could be disappointed, maybe missing you. So we have Temperance. Ace of Wands, oh, and the Ten of Cups. So this energy right here kind of looks like going out. Girls night, guys night out, having fun, out with friends, three of coins. It could be a group of you. It, just a night out, night on the town, having fun. Like I always say, Nine of Cups to me is an eating, drinking, having fun, pleasure card. Um, so having a good time. So you might randomly, Sagittarius, run into somebody. It could be someone you haven't been thinking about. But someone may have been thinking about you. Let's go to the hermit. Why is the hermit so sad? Because the hermit's out in the cold. Well, that makes sense. But again, I'm feeling like... Now, there's a possibility some of you go out in a group setting on some type of date and then you get ghosted. The person is not there. You're not very happy about this. But then what comes in is something new or better because we have the sun under there right now. I can read it that way also what I'm seeing here. Who is this Knight of Cups? Who is this Knight of Cups? Nine of Wands. We have Ten of Swords under here also. So that kind of describes this person. So I don't know if this is... Because Nine of Wands to me is kind of a card of being irritated with somebody. So it almost feels like for some of you, you may go out on a date with somebody or go out in a group setting and there could be somebody there that does like you, but they're not an ex is what they're telling me. But I feel like you're kind of irritated with them with the Nine of Wands energy or there's something that just does not go well with the, the I don't call it a date because it's not a date, the time out or something. Hang on, let me go to Temperance. Temperance, Five of Swords, taking time for you. So maybe you ghost them. It's almost possible that you're the one who, I feel, okay, this is what I'm seeing and feeling. I feel like you go out with a group of people. There's somebody who really likes you, but they make a fool of themselves. They just are just an ass. I feel like you go, you ghost them. I feel like you leave them in, in the dark. I don't know if you ghost them, but you know what I mean? You're like, I'm not really going to deal with this. I'm happy on my own. I'm good. I don't need to communicate with you. I feel like they come back in for another chance because I feel like, you know, oh, the Ace of Cups is under, under there. Now, if it's the same person, they do regret how they acted, what they said, if they made a fool of themselves, if they drank too much. Um, they may have come across foolish because maybe they really do like you and they were nervous. What is the three of coins? I'm gonna go backwards here. Yeah. Cause I do see there's somebody in the mist, midst, mist, mist, that does have their eye on you. So it could also be that they feel ignored. Maybe it wasn't that uh, they, you know, they were hoping to impress you on, on that outing or something, but they just, you didn't notice them. You're just into you. Maybe you said out loud in the group, I'm single, I'm free, I'm happy, I'm good. I don't need anybody, to, anybody in my life. What is Ace of Wands? Yeah. So this is Ace of Wands. There is some. There is a very hot connection here, very sexual. So what is the Ten of Cups? Two of Swords. Okay, so some of you aren't, don't, may not want to give this person a chance because, again, you're thinking, you know what, I'm good over here. You might be missing out on something good. You may sleep together and think, well, that was really great, but I'm not going to have a relationship just on sex. Let me see. What is the two of swords? What's on the other side? 
It just sort of stuck in your mind. Oh, it's like knowing this person, like you should be with this person, and you could be very happy. Like they could be very, you could they could make you very happy, but not wanting to give them another chance. Some of you are remaining single with a five of coins or something, and you're lonely, but you don't want to get hurt, so you don't care. You guys have somebody who's really interested in you, bottom line, that could make you happy. Again, this is for some of you, maybe not all of you, but if it doesn't resonate this week or weekend or end of the month, hang in there because it's coming in, just keep manifesting, okay? I have to say that. This is someone who you would really get along with. This is someone where you guys understand each other's you know, warped sense of humor. Whatever it is, you guys get each other. You guys are like two peas in a pod, three of coins, getting along, having fun. But I feel like you don't trust them or something, nine of wands. You've been through this before, this song and dance, and you feel like, you know what? I've had people like this, they're fun. There's this attraction. Maybe you guys do sleep together one time or something, but it's almost like, I feel like you don't. I feel like you just kind of like take yourself out of the picture and, but yet you're very attracted to them and they're attracted to you, but you're like, you know what, I've had this before and then it leads nowhere. It leads to maybe a couple dates or a couple, you know, nights, nights together and then that's it. But yet there's something about them that intrigues you because you know, Eight of Swords, you're going around in your head that this may be the one that would make you really happy. They said they wanted the same things, Three of Coins. They want to live in a cottage alongside the beach and, you know, just have two dogs. That's their dream. Or live on a boat or something very kind of specific. And it's what you wanted to, or what you want, I should say, what you want to. I say wanted because it feels like you gave up hope. You used to want that with somebody. You don't want it anymore because you couldn't find it. There's somebody here who... I feel like you ghost them, actually, in a sense. Not on purpose, but you know what I'm saying. You guys get it. But there's this very... So I think they're going to try to find... Well, they'll find you. It's not that hard these days. But they're going to come after you. They're going to ask for another chance. They are going to want to be with you. There's this knowing that they are the one is what I'm picking up. Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands. Yeah. Because that's you. You may be very cut and dry, Page of Swords. You maybe spying on them or they're probably spying on you oops yeah listen to your intuition there's a strong attraction between the two of you but again like a lot of you you've been there done that you're like you know what i've had this before the strong attractions come and go you want the real deal you want the ten of coins ace of coins you know two of cups and after you know a great time out you know it's not showing up here you do have the lovers which is a very good card it is about choosing it's love well, actually, to me in this deck, honestly, especially with the Ace of Wands, this is more about lust and sex. But I feel like you know something's up with this person. Like, this is a soulmate. and But you're like, you know, I've heard that before. Other readers have said that. We have lots of soulmates. I do believe we have many on this earth. We don't have just like one. There's not one. That might be a twin flame or something. This might be a twin with this energy here, but we'll see. What is Eight of Swords? What does Sagittarius need to know? What is coming in with the Three of Wands? Two of Wands, having to make a decision. The wheel is turning. Listen to your intuition. Okay, it might be a, a Capricorn, Taurus, Vir Virgo. Excuse me. Could be. Could be a Leo. We got the Sun. Doesn't need to be, though. It might be something to do with financial planning or investing, possibly Seven of Coins and a King of Coins showing up. But again, details. Are you under there worrying, thinking about this, thinking about this attraction to this person, wanting to block them? Are you blocking this, this situation? I feel like this person sees building a life with you. That's the seven of coins, wanting to invest, wanting to invest in this relationship. So they may act very quickly, Knight of Swords energy. That may be why they're showing us. What's coming in on the horizon is you need to make a decision, Two of Wands. What do you want? The wheel is turning. Listen to your intuition. Will you accept this offer? What is the five of swords? What is the five of swords down here? Yeah, written in the stars possibly. Again, I feel like this is their energy. I feel like they know before you know that you are the one and they're going to try to win you over. This is destiny. Some of you, I feel you're hopeful, but again, you don't want to hope because you have been, you know, disappointed, of course. And so this could be an Aquarius. I'm going to do one more for the five of coins because some of you definitely, this is your energy. This is, 
you may not be feeling it or knowing it if you're going out all the time with friends and drinking or whatever so you kind of cover it up but I kind of don't think that's what you're doing to be very honest it shows specifically being out with friends getting along having fun and you meet this person but I feel like some of you underneath it all may not really be acknowledging that you are sad or you're lonely or what's the five of coins ace of swords no this is a new beginning yeah this person really wants one again this person may be very direct and very frank they could be an air sign this person though could they're not an ex and six of cups in reverse reverse always tells me that this is not maybe someone you're expecting or someone you know it's definitely not an ex or someone from the past but they may somehow know you well enough like you're a friend of a friend to where they might be spying on you online checking things out so that they may know some details about you so don't be caught off guard i don't know why they're telling me to tell you that but i feel like you have your guard up also sagittarius but I feel like you know that this definitely is the one, could be the one for a lot of you. So I feel like this person really has a lot of admiration for you when I see the sun there. They see this growing because again, we need the sun for this tree, you know, to grow, to blossom for this relationship. This person sees that. They see that in you. They see like long term. All right, let me see if there's anything else. I'm not really picking up anything else. So I think I'm going to just leave it here. Have a really good week, Sagittarius, and take care.